water, it's just like a small water, small drops of water is coming to this place. So as you can see right now, that's where you can get water from. So we are just collecting all this water from this source. Then after collecting it, we are using this banana leaf yeah, so to see if we can get water. water. Yo, what's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nexo Adventure, and I'm right here in this beautiful village in the northern part of Rwanda. And today, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fetch water right now. So, actually, the place to fetch water here in my village is somehow far because I'm gonna use like maybe between 30 and 50 minutes just to walk, and then it's hilly and then it's stony. But I'm going to try to see if I can watch fetch water for my dad and my mom, guys. Let's go. And see where I got water from. We are passing by here. Me? Yeah. He's recording. He's recording. You can record. oh. We went to the same school with her. Same now she's already got married, and then I think she has like two. Why what are you waiting? Money. You're <laughs> <laughs> waiting for her. You don't get money. You won't have kids. So I will not have it. <laughs> so people don't just for your village ask you. Like, mm -hmm. I think yeah. They ask you, right? Yeah. Just go, her guys. <laughs> Guys, we've been uh, we've been walking for like maybe 25 minutes, but we're almost there to the river. We have the place or uh, to the place where we are going to fetch the water. So let's go and see if we can fetch the water. Guys, as you can see right now, I have arrived to the uh, place where I can fetch the water. So let's go and fetch the water. So guys, the funny thing of this river is that we are getting water from actually the rocks. If you don't have these rocks, you can't get water. So the water is not that clean, but you know, there's no way. The government is trying to see if we can get water maybe soon, but we don't know when. So we are using this uh, part of the bananas just to get water so we can get it from that, uh, that rocks from here. And uh, the water was supposed to be clean, but again, like, it passed through like a, a lot of stuff. So it's not that easy. It's not that easy, but you know, the water is so cold. It looks like the water is coming from the fridge, guys. So I've got my water. Now, let's go and get my water. There is something interested in this place because you are like. Rwanda and especially north, it's like composed of hills and big mountains. So it's not easy to get mountains unless getting mountain through the getting water, unless if you are getting water through the mountain. And that, that's what you are going to see here. This is where we get water. So guys, as you can see right now, the water, it's just like a small water, small drops of water is coming to this place. 
So as you can see right now, that's where you can get water from. So we are just collecting all this water from this source. Then after collecting it, we are using this banana leaf yeah, so to see if we can get water. water. So it's not going to be easy, but that's the only way that you can get water from, guys. So, guys, that's how. This is the most hardest thing to get water in Africa, but that's how it lives. When I was growing up, I used to get water from here, and then you can find that like maybe like a thousand people are coming here every single day to get water because they are coming from different places. People are walking for like an hour, 45 minutes, 30 minutes just to get water from this kind of river. It's not easy, but this is how in Africa is. I'm not trying to say that there is no water in Africa, but I'm saying that there is some places in Africa where to get water is somehow really hard, guys. After like after like one hour or 40 minutes I've like just arrived home with water this water is the most this stuff is the most hardest thing I've ever seen of getting water but finally I've arrived home so it's not going to be easy but uh, finally I've just arrived home <laughs> Finally arrived home after like a journey of like 40 minutes. I've just got water, but it's not easy and the water is not clean. Uh, it's not easy going to live in this village and then spend there your entire life because a lot of people, my younger brothers and a lot of people have spent here their entire life. They have never gone anywhere in the country. So and I feel like it's a blessing for me to go outside of Kigara and then check how other people are living so guys if your first time watching this video can you hit the subscribe button remember to like this video share this video with your family and friends and let's build this uh, place so my family members and my neighbors will get clean water let's guys let's do this thank you so much see you in next episode your boy next so